Hey, what's up, you guys? Adding a hitch to your Kia Sorento can take you to some pretty cool places like boating and camping, bike riding. You can also tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Okay, let's go ahead and break this hitch down and get you outdoors. You will need the tool seen here to complete this installation. We're gonna start by prepping the vehicle. and doing that, we're gonna start with lowering the spare tire here. To lower the spare tire, you need to get into the rear cargo area and get to the jack. Okay, and in the jack compartment, you're gonna see a nut here. That nut lowers and raises the spare tire. Okay, I'm gonna use the provided tool by the vehicle. Goes right over the nut. And we're gonna take our crank here and, and the, you're gonna see the tire start coming down. Now that we got it lowered enough, we're gonna just kind of raise the tire up a little bit. Take it out of its seat there. Then we'll just put the spare tire to the side and our next step is to remove this underbody paneling on the driver's side. We've got six screws, two nuts, one straight up here and one straight up here. We'll be using a 14 millimeter to take those down. Okay, these, these are plastic screws that have a base that will just spin around on you. You can see that I'm moving and it just keeps spinning. So um, sometimes you have to hold that base with your hand or, or like a flathead screwdriver and then spin. Holds it in place and allows the screw to come right out. Once it gets down towards the end of the threads, it'll just all pull right out, just like that. Okay, now we're gonna take a 14 millimeter socket. And usually these are just hand tight, so I'm just gonna remove my ratchet, and I'll just use the extension and socket to spin it loose. And the same with that one, so now I'll just tug on it. Let's see if this guy can... There we go. We'll go ahead and set that paneling aside. Now we'll move over to the exhaust. Now lowering the exhaust, there's gonna be three rubber hangers on exhaust rods. So we'll start with the most rear one. And we have another one closer to the spare or to the passenger side tire here. And our last exhaust hanger is gonna be the one up towards the front on the exhaust tube here. Once we get that third one out and all three out, um, the exhaust is gonna wanna drop, so we're gonna support it with the strap here, and I'm gonna support it to this cross tube. That should be enough. Okay, now I'm gonna take the exhaust hanger down. I'll be using exhaust pliers. You can use pry bar or flathead screwdriver if you need to, if you don't have a pair. Okay. I'm gonna take my exhaust pliers and move over to the hanger that's next to the passenger side tire. And this one's gonna be a little bit tough, so I'm gonna spray a little bit of soapy water on it. lubricate the rod a little bit and help it slide right out. Okay, and now we'll do the last one up on the exhaust tube. Okay, now that we have the exhaust lowered, that gives us enough room to get to our attachment points for the M10 bolts here and here and the 7 16 carriage bolts here and up here on the side of the frame. Okay, we can go ahead and point out the driver's side attachment points as well. We're gonna be using half inch carriage bolts up at the top of the side of the frame here and here. And then only one M10 bolt on the bottom of the frame here. Okay, so today I'll be using a U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. Um, if you don't have one of these hitch jacks, you'll definitely need an extra set of hands. Let's go ahead and go into the features of the hitch. Um, on the driver's side, it's designed to saddle the frame here. On the outside of the frame, bolts will be going in this way and one underneath up. Move over down to the passenger side. 
Uh, this passenger bracket here is designed to go over the exhaust and then saddle the frame on the inside of the frame. Again, bolts going in this way and up this way. Okay, let's go ahead and get it into place and put the bolts through. Okay, we're over here on the driver's side. The hitch is in place. Now it's time to put our bolts in. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start with our carriage bolts. And if you see here, we have two 7 16 smaller carriage bolts, two half inch larger carriage bolts. The smaller 7 16 go on the passenger side, the larger half inch go on the driver's side. And then on the bottom of the frame, we also have M10 bolts. Um, and as you can see, we've put our uh, spacers on there. They're actually called conical tooth washers because they have little teeth on them. And those teeth are facing up and we'll be contacting the hitch. Okay, let's go ahead and get our two half inch carriage bolts into the side of the frame here. Because as you can see, there, it's got a square base there and it's gonna fit into the square portion of the hitch and seat in it just like that. Okay, we'll put our most rearward half inch carriage bolt there on the driver's side. Now we'll go ahead and get some nuts put on these half inch carriage bolts just to hold them into place. Okay, now that we've got our driver's side half inch bolts in, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the passenger side. We're gonna take our 7 16 carriage bolts, go up and over the hitch here. Slide them into place just like we did on the driver's side, except these are on the inside of the frame rather than the outside. Okay, yeah, I've got one through now. I'll show you the other one coming through. Now we'll go ahead and put the nuts on. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put the M10 bolts in right at the bottom of the frame. These go right into the existing weld nut. Okay, we're back over to the driver's side. We're gonna put our last M10 bolt in to the bottom of the frame here. Okay, now that we have all of our bolts in place, um, I go, went ahead and removed the U-Haul hitch jack, and we're gonna go ahead and torque these down. The two half inch carriage bolts are gonna be torqued down to 110 foot pounds. Once they reach the right torque, our torque wrench will make a clicking sound, just like that. Perfect. Okay, before we move on to the passenger side, I want to point out that we did use a three-quarter inch socket to tighten down these two nuts here. I also use a five-inch extension just to help me get over this hump, the bottom of the vehicle here. Okay, we're over at the passenger side here, and I'm going to go ahead and change our torque over to 60 foot-pounds. Um, I'll be using a 11 16 socket and a five-inch extension. Okay, there's our click. Moving over to the most rearward bolt. There's our click. Okay, now we're gonna switch over to a 17 millimeter to tighten our M10 bolts. And we also wanna change our torque over to 48 foot-pounds. I'll start with the driver's side here. Okay, move over to the passenger side above the exhaust here. There's our click. And there's our click. Okay, all of our bolts are tightened. We can go ahead and put the exhaust back up, put the paneling back on, and put the spare tire back up. Okay, we'll start with the most rear hanger here. Pull it away, lift up. Okay, now we'll go ahead and move up to the one next to the passenger rear tire. Okay, and now to our most forward exhaust hanger. Take our strap out. 
And that'll do it for the exhaust. We're gonna go ahead and put our underbody paneling back on. Now we'll take our fasteners here, just put them back in, put it back in. The last thing to do is put our spare tire back up. Got our spare tire holder here is going to go right through the center of the spare tire. Just like that. Okay, now back into the cargo area. Just gonna crank our tire back up. Make sure it goes up next to this hitch properly. Okay, we got it nice and tight. We'll go ahead and put our tools back into place. Okay, and that's our hitch install. Uh, we got a two inch receiver here. The hitch is rated at 750 pounds tongue weight, 5,000 pounds trailer weight. Let's go ahead and get this vehicle off the ramps and get you some measurements for selecting a bike rack or a ball mount, whichever you need. Okay, from our 5 8 pin and clip hole to the rear edge of the bumper, it is four inches. From the rear edge of the receiver tube to the rear edge of the bumper, it's one and a half inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver tube is 13 inches. To learn more about the products seen in this video or to schedule an installation by U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.